crown and easy. This one will not be as long as the last two. <laughs> no, I just don't have as many slides. <laughs> so, uh, does everyone here know what cron is before we get started? Great, okay. So, real quick, cron, um, time-based job scheduler, if you, have a, if you have an app in production, it's something you can use to um, have your database do, you know, do something to your database at certain intervals, or you can send out a message with no security or something like that. Super useful, super great. Um, the syntax sucks. <laughs> That's really awful. So uh, I used Cron on an app I built recently. It uh, makes task calls to the Oklahoma Legislature website. It scrapes XML and then takes those and does something with the data depending on what it gets back. So I have been having to mess with Cron jobs lately. And so what is this doing? Does anybody, can anybody read that? What is it doing? Every 10 minutes it runs your little, uh, your command. System. Great. That's right. That's correct. But nobody else in here who is a database can <laughs> do that, right? <laughs> right? What is this one doing? The 32nd minute every 20 hours, I believe. Yeah. Uh, every 8 o'clock. Huh? I think on Sunday. Sunday <laughs> in 20 hours. After it rains. This <laughs> attack <laughs> sucks, right? <laughs> What's this one doing? Woo. <laughs> oh boy, midnight. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, you got to put a bunch of comments in there, and comments are lives waiting to happen, right? So, what is this doing? I have no idea. What is this? That's our first one, right? What's this one doing? Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Great, right? Yeah. That reads... Like it makes sense, right? <laughs> what is this one doing? Awesome, right? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So how do we get from this to this? Um, I didn't write it. I'm sorry, it's a gym. Uh, cool. Gym install whenever. It's a great, great gym you should have on any project where you're using Cron. Um, it uh, creates a, if, if you install the gem and run whenever eyes, it builds a schedule.rb <coughs> file in your Rails app if you're using Rails. And um, you can go into that schedule.rb file and write this every two months. And then go to your command line and run whenever. And it spits this out on the command line for you. Standard out? Yes. So it doesn't go to your front tab. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Capistrano integration. If you're running Capistrano in production, you set up your schedule.rb, and when you do your Capistrano deploy, it's that is spitting it to standard out, and production it spits it into your contact file and build your cron jobs for you. So it's great. And that was it. That's my <laughs> <talk>. <laughs>